Welcome, welcome to Thoughts Roundup. Folks, I'm thinking about Abraham in the 22nd chapter of Genesis. How that God spoke to him and told him to take his son Isaac and go up on a mountain that he would show him and offer him as a sacrifice. Well, you know how as a parent he felt. And also, he knew all the blessings that were supposed to come through Isaac. And uh, that, ever, that son meant a lot to him. But you know what the Bible says? It says that the Lord, that Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled an ass and got his son and wood and headed out. He was willing to do it. Grieved to the bone yet he was willing to do it. Not understanding why, no doubt, not understanding why, yet he was willing to do it. Lord, so many times we say, why me, Lord? We question too much. And so they rode out and finally they saw the mountain and Abraham told the people was with him to stay there and he and the lad would go yonder and we'll come back. Well, he got there and he put the wood out. He built the altar. He put the wood on the altar. He strapped his son down to it. We, we don't, we can't know what all was involved in that process. But the beautiful thing was that just as he drew the knife back to slay Isaac as a sacrifice, angel spoke and said, hold it. <laughs> Don't do it. And uh, Abraham looked and he saw a realm that was caught in the thicket. And of course, God spoke to him again and let him know some wonderful things. My point is today, I wonder how many things that would not happen to us if God knew we were willing. If God has to drag us kicking and screaming and we have to question everything and we have to have all the answers before we're willing to do the will of God. I'm thinking we must, no doubt, miss a lot of blessings simply because we're not willing to say, not my will, but thine be done. Why don't we all say, Lord, just we're willing to do your will. That goes into even, a lot of people don't know why they, uh, just like holiness, they don't know why. But they're willing. And uh, some people say, no, I won't do it. No. 
we hold back on God too much. God, help us to just yield ourselves to you. Why don't you read that second, 22nd chapter of Genesis today and just try it on for size. There may be some things you say, okay, okay, God, I don't know why, but if that's what you want, I'm willing. God bless you. Thank you for listening.